for those who are going to be watching or listening who may not understand um, or have followed some of the innovations in education here in the last few years, uh, this is one of 38 uh, T-STEM academies that were created since 2003 uh, as part of the Texas High School Project. Um, Rob Eisler is going to share with you just a little bit more in expansiveness about uh, what this means and uh, where it puts us in the, in the great hierarchy. And just for the record, we're at the top of the hierarchy uh, because of this. But this program is a prime example of the innovative approaches uh, that we're taking here in Texas to make sure that our children, tomorrow's uh, scientists and doctors and uh, innovators are uh, getting the best possible education to prepare them for the best possible future. Uh, when, you, when you boil it all down, that's really what we're here for. It's why you get up every day and, and you go to work and you do the things that you do, uh, is to prepare our young Texans for this global economy that we live in. Uh, it's an education system that is based on accountability uh, at every level and, and in every direction. Um, by that I mean that not only do we hold these students accountable um, for their performance in the classroom, but we also hold educators and administrators accountable for the outcomes in a very genuine team approach. Our overall goal is for young Texans, no matter what their economic background, uh, to graduate from our high schools career and college ready uh, with the essential knowledge, learning skills, that they're going to need to tackle what's next. And thanks to Senator Shapiro and Representative Eisler, they were the lead authors on this, and I might add uh, Dr. Shelton uh, as well on the House side. We have House Bill 3. That's a piece of legislation that moves Texas boldly forward uh, in this direction. And I want you to know that this legislation didn't just happen uh, in a vacuum. This wasn't just the three of those individuals got together and uh, uh, put this together. Uh, there was a select committee that traveled the state that listened to uh, a wide array of individuals. Uh, they talked to educators and parents and members of the community and they got their recommendations on how to improve our state's accountability system. House Bill 3 uh, makes Texas a leader in the effort to hold schools directly accountable, ensuring that uh, students graduate college and career ready. Uh, four years of math, science, social studies, and English on their transcript. Uh, some folks have expressed concern that this comes at the cost of some other uh, areas. Uh, for instance, statewide physical education. Uh, but districts can still make that part of their recommended graduation plan as they educate the whole student. Uh, at the same time, this bill makes schools more accountable to parents by providing a means for them to access vital information on their children's progress. It also makes districts more accountable and um, transparent to taxpayers by requiring them to put their budgets online. It also uh, uh, directs the comptroller to um, assess and rank districts based on their financial efficiency. This legislation is a great example of what happens when we set out uh, with a very clear goal. We involve Texans all across the state and we trust leaders to craft a winning strategy. So now it's time for us to uh, execute that strategy on behalf of these students and when they graduate college, career ready, they're on track to pursue their dreams in jobs that uh, can feed a family, that can help them address their aspirations, their dreams, and um, it may be in a, in a host of different areas. It may be in uh, the service of their country, but they will be prepared and they will be ready. Um, they're going to be ready to contribute to our society. Uh, they'll be ready to compete in the global economy, make this world a better place. I'm proud to sign this bill uh, into law that's moving Texas forward.